When it comes to our pets, some of us can be a little over the top, let's just say that. And now a veterinarian is going viral, revealing the weirdest pet names he's come across. ABC's Will Gans explains. All right, I'm looking for Sergeant Sniffers. Dr. Frank Bozelka has had to call out a lot of weird pet names in his busy animal hospital waiting room. All right, where's Bart Ruffalo? Who's got Pico de Gato? I don't know how people create the names they do, but there are some genius minds out there that really are creative. The Chicago-based veterinarian sharing some of the most bizarre on TikTok. It just kind of came to me because there's been a lot of really unique pet names and I figured, hey, let's share them with people. All right, I'm looking for Paul McCartney. The video's racking up more than 8.3 right, million views. Ozzy Pawsborn, the Prince of Barkness. According to Rover.com, some of last year's most common pet names for male pets were Max, Charlie, and Milo, and for female pets were Bella, Luna, and Lucy. Okay, we're ready for Lucy Purr. All right, I'm looking for Lover Boy. Who's got Lover Boy? In addition to the silly stuff, Dr. Frank also shares content to help pet owners, from performing the Heimlich on animals to red flags you shouldn't ignore. If your cat is open mouth breathing, come on in. I really want to just educate people and I try to bridge that gap in people just wanting information about a condition their pet may have while also entertaining them and giving them a laugh or two along the way. Yes, is there a Sir Francis Duke of Meowington? We just call him Sir. Sorry. So experts say it's fine to give your pet a name like Sir Francis Duke of Meowington, but you'll need to give them a one or two syllable nickname that they can recognize and make sure it doesn't sound like a command. So you wouldn't want to call him Sir since it sounds like sit, for example. Will Gans, ABC News, New York.